Come on, Frankie. We were watching the Gallatin Cool Night. Today, he's going to give out his special recipe for chicken in a casket. But I want to watch the Daffy Duck show. He's my favorite. Keep it down, will you? I'm trying to get my beauty rest. Didn't you sleep well last night, Drac? Are you kidding? Wolfie was howling in his sleep again. Sorry, Drac, baby. It was like... Like that new waterbed of mine, man. I thought they were supposed to be comfortable. Not this one. First, the tide came in, and I got like seasick. Then I was nearly run over by a water skier. But the last straw, man, was the oil slick. For the rest of the night, I kept slipping out from between the sheets. <laughs> You're a regular sea dog, aren't you, Wolfie? <laughs> the only a pig is coming on. Hello, movie fans. Once again, this is Petunia Pig with the latest in news and gossip from Hollywood. Flash, the cameras are rolling out at the Daffy Duck Studios as Daffy and his gang start production on their full-length extravaganza, King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. And now let's chat with the film's director and star, Daffy Duck. Rumors have been flying around Hollywood about a mysterious stranger that has been causing all kinds of trouble on the set. Now, would you care to comment on this? Oh, it's uh, probably just one of my many fans after my autograph. Mm. Oh, looky, looky, looky. There's Daffy and Sylvester and all of my favorites. <laughs> Frankie, stop! <laughs> Down in front, Drac. Down in front. And now, let's take a look at a few scenes Daffy brought along. Congratulations, sire. You're a father. Hot dog. I say hot doggity. Imagine me, King Arthur, the chicken hearted, a papa. Mister, I say, let's take a look at the little rascal. Sire, you mean rascal. Oh, sure are cute little fellas. They look just like their daddy. All except this one. There's, I say, there's always a rotten egg in every family. Well, that's a joke, son. <laughs> Send for the court jester. Jester! You call? The king wants to see you. What would you like to see, fire? How about my new banana peel trick? <laughs> no, I've got it. How about if I pole vaulted into the monster infested moat? Like to see fire. I'd like to see you take this youngster for a walk. A long, I say a long walk. It shall be done. <laughs> fire. <laughs> Gee, seems like a little tyke like you ought to have a name. I know. I'll call you Funny. Funny fried up, that is. <laughs> Go ahead and blow it. There's not a dog within 20 miles of here. Okay, pretty cat. <laughs> See, I told you. You better walk behind you, pretty cat. 
You don't think I'm gonna fall for that old trick, do you? Gonna hand it over, pretty cat, or I'll blow my whistle again. So blow it already. I'm not afraid of any old mangy old mutt. You're wasting your time. Please don't make me blow it again, pretty cat. Blow it, blow it. Any dumb dog that did hear that thing would be too stupid to come anyway. Go ahead, blow it again if it makes you happy. Blow it all you want. I think I just blew it. Nasty old putty cat went bye bye. <laughs> Arthur, mommy, but I'm not your mommy. And so what? I'm not Arthur either. But it sure made a great entrance, didn't it? Well, if your name isn't Arthur, what is it? How should I know? I'm only three years old. And I'll call you Arthur. <laughs> What's wrong with land? A rock? Even Daffy? Why doesn't it have to be Arthur? Because my mommy's name was Arthur. <laughs> Hey, what happened? They can't do that to Daffy. Man, just when they were getting to the groove, he has part. Maybe it's a commercial for vanishing cream. Hello, cartoon fans. I'm the dreaded Phantom of the Flickers. <laughs> you can forget about ever seeing any more cartoons, because I plan to destroy every frame of film Daffy Duck and his friends ever made, including their full-length flop, King Arthur. Sorry, Daffy, but that's showbiz. He can't get away with that. Daffy and Porky are my true friends. I know. I've seen that phantom someplace before. Maybe it was in High Ghoul. You were always a sucker for a pretty face, Agatha. I don't care whom he is. I've been Daffy's biggest fan ever since the day I was assembled. <laughs> I'm going to Hollywood and give him a hand. Wait, I'll go with you. I've always wanted to body surf at Malibu Beach. You think it's my autograph book? We may run into some big stars like Bella Lugosley or Elliot Gould. I'll bring my movie camera, you know. How to find the Daffy Duck Studios? We're going to help Daffy save his films from the wicked phantom of the Flickers. How noble. Just turn right at the corner and you're there. Thanks for everything, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Don't mention it. See you later. You'll see me sooner than you think. <laughs> You know, I hope they're all right. I know how to find them. And I just got this thing out of the shop. Brown <laughs> Channel, let me just check my CB guide. CB guide? Yes, my crystal ball guide. Oh my cut, cut, that's a print. We're ready for the stuntmen now. Bring them out. If the, if the, if the, if the stuntmen aren't here yet, Daffy. Not here? What do you mean, not... I say, Daffy, we came to help. It's about time. Get into those costumes over there and make it snappy. But, Daffy, we... Oh, boy. If I didn't know that was makeup, I'd be scared to death. Golly, thanks. I think. <laughs> wow. Stick with me, baby, and I'll make you a star. What a combination. My brains and your ugliness. How would you like me to turn you into a rutabaga, you little squirt? Just a minute, sister. Do you know whom you're talking to? 
I'm Daffy Duck, superstar and super director, which means if you're not super nice, I can get super nasty. Try it and you're in for a super surprise. But now, Agatha, mind your manners. Yes, Daffy is the director. I am the director. Hold your cat, Wolfine. Take one. <laughs> hey, man, they're like taking our pictures, so like, smile. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Uh, on second thought, and now for stunt number one. <laughs> hey, how about this? We've been in show business exactly one minute, and already like we're about to make a big hit. <laughs> what worries me? Never fear, Aunt Haggard is here. Abra... <laughs> Them stunt fellers may be weird looking, but they sure know their stuff. It scares me to watch them. If this scares you, you ought to see them up close. <laughs> oh, no. Nice going, traps. <laughs> Now you've got the hang of it. Yes, but what do we do now? I knew I should have turned him into a rudabag. Uh oh, somebody do something, man. Do rumble, tumble, jumping, flipping, magic, put a stop to all this slipping. You're a big help. Well, you don't see Frankie slipping anymore, do you? Again? 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 Yes, you missed your mark. Forget it. I'm not going through that again. Besides, it's time for my coffee break. I've heard a lighty actress, but this is ridiculous. Okay, okay, take a break. Take a break. I'm afraid everything's already broke, you know. <laughs> At last, some peace and quiet. Oh. I don't know why they keep this so dark. Makes it tough for a bad guy to cause trouble. <laughs> Say, don't I know you from somewhere? I know you're the... Look out below! Here comes the phantom! I'll catch him! I'll catch him! Slam, baby, in this scene, I want you to really project those lines. Make me feel every word. <laughs> now there's a kid who can take direction. <laughs> Pardon me for dropping in like this. Eek! It's the phantom of the flicker. Buster, I don't know who you are, but I've got a movie to make here, and you chased away my actors. So take off that ridiculous makeup and show them there's nothing to be scared of. Of course, of course. How thoughtless of me. Very funny. Now take off the rest of it. Stalin. How's this? Or this? All this. All this. All this. I should have known. You're all in this together. Now cut it out and take off that makeup. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, dear, oh, my, oh, oh. Hey, calm down, Jesse. We can explain. You've got some explaining to do, all right. Come out of there and fight like a man. <laughs> hey, can you knock off the noise down here? <laughs> How do you expect me to get my beauty sleep? <laughs> Why do you have to keep on scaring our friends like that? Yeah, man, like, why do you? <laughs> whoa, 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 that cat is like out of sight. <laughs> whoa, I still know that phantom's face from somewhere. Yeah, but which face? We've got to stop him before he does something to Daffy's villain. Agatha! Can't you use your magic powers to find that trap door? Sure, no problem. Spider legs and rattled snake eggs. Open sesame. <laughs> Maybe it's rattled snake legs and spider eggs. <laughs> All right, gang, we've got a real fight on our hands. This phantom and his weirdo friends are out to stop us from completing King Arthur. But as you know, it has to be finished in time for the annual Ozzy Awards tomorrow night. Right? Right. 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 It will be, it will be, it will be. When I described these guys to the police, they said I was nuts and hung up. A posse. That's what we need. A posse to nab them varmints. Sam, that's a stupendous idea. Who volunteered? Those fools will never catch me. First thing you know, they'll want to head me off at the pass. Let's head them off at the pass! <laughs> what are you, a bunch of chickens? I resent, I say, I resent that, son. Nothing personal, Foghorn. How about you, Sylvester? <laughs> Sorry, Sam, but I've got two books overdue at the library. Come on. <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> Wiley. Anyone else? I'll uh, 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 go too. Uh, Action! This town ain't big enough for the two of us, Marshal. One of us has gotta go. We'll draw on the count of five. One, two, three. God, Cat, what's the meaning of this? We were looking for the Phantom of the Flickers. I quit. My big scene is ruined. Lance, wait! Can't we, can't we talk this out? Buy me a nice cream first. <laughs> Looky, there he is. It's the Phantom. Let's go! What a lovely yacht! <laughs> Just a moment. Can I help you? Did you? I'm sorry, but I can't understand the word you're sneezing. I'll get the gardener. Yes? Uh, just a minute, I'll get the head of the house. The head of the house? Now we're getting somewhere. I'm the head of the house, and we don't want any. Well, I know what I've not wanted. Me too. <laughs> hey, that sounds like the Phantom. I think he's tricked us. Varmints now, skedaddling into their hideout. Stick close to me, boys, and I'll show you how to trap five prairie gophers in one hole. And we'll take the elevator. We're going to hit them off at the pass. You're right, you're right yo, 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 Sam. Drive it, we've lost them again. Try your crystal ball, Agatha. Woo! The Phantom's 
Santa must be jabbing it. All I get is snow. I'm worried about Daffy. Why don't we check on him? Okay, gang. Now we're going to see all the King Arthur scenes we shot yesterday. Uh, you might take note of my magnificent performance. Hello. <laughs> How do you like the carnival so far, Arthur? I love it. I really love it. <laughs> Gee, he really it, it does love it. I think Arthur's falling in love with Lady Guinevere. Everyone's in love with Lady Guinevere. That'll be $49.95 plus tax, sir. Forget the money. Marry me and you'll be rich. I'll set you up in your own first level ranch style booth. I'm sorry, sir, but I only date those of royal blood. So I'll have a transfusion. What do you play? I'm sorry, sir. That'll be $49.95 plus tax. <laughs> It was my entire life savings, but it was worth it. Cheer up, Arthur. There are plenty of other girls around. I don't care about any other girls. I love Lady Guinevere. My little old buddy, you think you could come up with a magic spell that would make Guinevere fall in love with me? I uh, could try, Arthur. What do you want me to do? Uh, uh, close your eyes. Hearts and uh, flowers. And the magical Hold it right there, Chubby. I can't stand it anymore. If you're going to cast a spell, let's cast it right. See that dog chasing the court jester over there? Oh, there's that naughty pretty cat. Hearts and flowers, magical powers. Let love rain down like a thunder shower. Oh, I can't look. Poor pretty cat. <laughs> now that's a spell. <laughs> Let's go, Merlin, before Guinevere marries someone else. Hearts and flowers and magical powers let the love rain down uh, like a thunder sh shower. Methinks I've just had a vision. My true love is near. It worked. Here she comes. Come hither, thou big, handsome hunk of bird. Goodness gracious. I certainly hope these kisses are on the house. I am made of a boo-boo. <laughs> Easy. I'm going to wed Lady Guinevere yet. Oh, there they are again. Relax, sweetheart. It's only a film. Besides, those four weirdos are probably miles from here by now. No, we're not, Daff. This is my big scene coming up. Step right up, folks. Remove the sword from the stone and win the crown of England. How about you, young fellow? Me? No, I don't think so. Go away, kid. You bother me. She is. Hey, no fair breaking into line. You gotta wait your turn. Man, it is his turn, Margaret. You've already had 253 tries. Woo! <laughs> and you only paid us once, you know. Well, I was just uh, 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 warming up. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I was warming up. Uh, but you told me that you were giving it, uh, how you say, everything you got. But in your same lip, Foreman. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not quite true. <laughs> okay, okay, give me some room. Room he wants. Why don't you try the local hotel? <laughs> Quiet. In order to do that, I need complete silence. In order to do this, you need a complete overhaul.
won the crown. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! Like long live the king, man! Woo! King Arthur. I like it, I like it. I don't know how he did it, but I'll lay claim on that crown first, and I aim to have it. How do you propose to do that? I'll think of something. Hear ye, hear ye, a royal proclamation! All citizens are invited to the royal wedding tomorrow morning, joining His Highness the young King Arthur and Lady Guinevere in holy wedlock. Turning to the sports scene... <laughs> oh, how nice. Our first RSVP already. Oh, wait, not my sweet. Attention, King Arthur. Stop. Message to follow. <laughs> I challenge you to a jousting contest today at high noon. Whoever's man enough to win gets the king's crown in the hand of that cute little silly, Guinevere. Find Mordred. We sent your message in, Monsieur Mordred. <laughs> good, good. We should get an answer any minute. Come in. Telegram for the dreaded Mordred. That's me. <laughs> Singing telegram. To Madrid, from King Arthur, I'll be there, don't you worry, but I warn you, you'll be sorry. Sign here. I mean him. How do you spell X? Ladies and gentlemen, it's high noon and time for the main event. A ten-round jousting bout for the crown and the hand of the lovely lady Guinevere in marriage. In this corner, wearing silver armor with chrome trim and matching helmet with peekaboo visor, King Arthur! And in this corner, wearing the rusty armor with the tobacco stains on the front, the dreaded Mordred. I can still handle. Yahoo! Time to use plan number one. C'est magnifique. I am talking about the horse. What courage. What grace. I think I am in love. <laughs> Don't worry about your film, gentlemen. I'll take good care of it. <laughs> Don't just sit there after him. We gotta get that film back. We'll help, Daffy. Help. I mean, help. <laughs> Movies, but those guys are ridiculous. Oh, man, it looks like it's up to us to stop the phantom. So let's get moving. <laughs> there go the varmints now, and they got a can of film. Is this 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 stop in a thief? F. I hate to put a damper on things, but... Hey, I'm getting soaked. You ought to be used to getting soaked. 
You go to the beauty shop every Tuesday and look what it's done for you. I ought to be ashamed of myself. The least I can do is help them dry out. Hey, man, like this California weather, like changes fast. Those guys are never happy. Maybe a little air conditioning will cheer them up. but I think somebody's giving us a real snow job. Somebody call the, the, the Phantom of the Flickers. Ooh. Oh, that Phantom really frosts me. <laughs> mush, you varmints, mush! He's giving us the slip again. Curses. Oh, no, he hasn't. Agatha, you, Mummy, and Wolfie search below. I'll take the stern. Frank, you take the bow. All righty. <laughs> now what? Hot diggity dog. Looks like we got us a corral full of doggies. Okay, fanny baby. It is like all over for you. Woo, woo, woo. Better look again, my friends. <laughs> because I've still got to jump on you. I uh, it don't feel so good, is this? Yeah. My stomach feels even a bit worse. <laughs> Keep your mind off food and you'll be okay. Now don't stew. It's the stew. <laughs> I'm gonna put the old noodle to work. In the, in the non noodles? And get us out of this jam. Did you get a jam? Those varmints aren't going to make suckers out of us. Is this is suckers? Whoa, oh, whoa! No, I'm out of film. Uh, quick, uh, help me change roles, will you? <laughs> Big pardon, little boy. Did you see anybody go by here? Oh, no, sir. Not me. He sure no help. Man, he sure no musician, neither. Yeah, man, let me show you how to play that thing. <laughs> It's Pappy's film. Forgive me. Stop, you little brat. Come back here with that guitar. Oh, no. You'll have to catch me first. Man, the little brats run away to Mad Mirror Land. <laughs>
Right for me. <laughs> How did you get these horses to go, Drax? Never mind that. How do we get them to stop? Let's hold it, man. For my ball. Yes, it's wet, like in cold. Hey, that's a groovy beat you've got going there, Wolfie. <laughs> I had my guitar. I would join you. I can fix that. Oh, 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 Gotcha, baby. Now are you ready to say uncle? Uncle? That's it. That's where I know you from. You're my long-lost Uncle Claude Cheney, the great silent screen star. <laughs> Nephew Dracky. I can hardly believe it. The last time I saw you, you were knee-high to a will. Why were you running around as the Phantom of the Flickers trying to sabotage Daffy's film? Yeah, man, like you used to be a great star, Uncle Claude. I saw every one of your movies. That's right, Wolfie. I was a big star once. I had my footprints in cement. A big house with a four-hearse garage. <laughs> well, what happened? Did you get camera shy? Color films like Daffy's came in and ruined my career. I had to sell my mansion and move into a one-room crypt. But why did color films ruin you? Because I'm in living black and white. But all those other faces you have, they're in color. No, oh, they're just something I whipped up in my spare time. They're not the real me. Those are great disguises, Uncle Claude. You could be a big star again. I can just see it now. Claude Cheney, the ghoul of a million faces. You really think so? Oh, sure, you'd be a smash. And I got all those faces on film. <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's take your film to Daffy. Maybe he can help Uncle Claude out. Yes, help me right out the front door. You forgot, Drac. I stole his film. Maybe he'll forgive and forget. Let's go. It's worth a try. <laughs> Any word on the King Arthur film those creeps stole yet, Elmer? Not yet, Daffy. Sam and his posse are still working on it. It's no use, Elmer. We'll have to get someone else to play the monster. My face is just too handsome. Come in. Oh, hold it right there, Buster. I'm the director. Can we talk to you, Daffy? Wouldn't you rather talk to my agent? We got the King Arthur film back, man. My film? You got my film back? That's right. And our Uncle Claude Cheney wants to apologize for taking it. Claude Cheney, the famous old movie star? Whatever happened to you? He's been perfecting a million disguises. You ought to see him, Daffy. Yeah, sure, sure. Don't call us. We'll call you. Show him a couple, Unc. <laughs> were terrific. You may be just the guy I'm looking for to co-star, but uh, I'd like to see more. I have all his disguises right here on film. Great, great. We'll run at the Aussie Awards. They start in 20 minutes. <laughs> And now 
for the Best Picture of the Year award, the envelope, I say the envelope, please, Petunia. Well, I'll be King Arthur, I say King Arthur is the winner. I can't take all the credit for this award, and I'd like to thank all the other people who made it possible. My producer, uh, Daffy Duck. My director, uh, Daffy Duck. My star, uh, Daffy Duck. My writer, uh, Daffy Duck. My wardrobe mistress, uh, Daffy Duck. And now for the last awards of the night, the winners are the Groovy Ghoulies for Best Stunt Work and Claude Kenny for the Comeback of the Year. Like, man, that's what I call split-second timing. The very second we walked on stage, the audience, like, split. Wow! Our vacation sure turned out to be a howling success. Yes, not only did we get to meet Daffy, Porky, and all the gang, but we became stars ourselves. It sure was fun, all right. Too bad it had to end. I guess our showbiz careers are now a thing of the past. Whoa, you varmints! Whoa! Don't look now, but I think our past is catching up with us. I said, whoa, and I mean 